I want to say thank you to all the people who bought training. I want to say thank you to all the people who are about to buy training. And shout out to the Nerd Tribe. Right now, inflation is going nuts. The average family has seen an increase in the cost of living of $500 to $2,000 per month, depending upon where they live in the country. With that, passive income and side hustle scams are literally taking over. Um, there was two female YouTubers, TikTokers, that I kept track of because they were content creators for the side hustle passive income scams. Now, this is what I'm gonna call the scam. If you create a business that allows you to not work that hard, or you don't have to put a lot of time into that business, like, let's talk about my YouTube business, which makes 5,000 in the bad month to 10,000 in the good month. And on average, this business takes me, I would say 25 hours per month. And if I wanted to be a scam artist, I could say how to make five to $10,000 passive income in 25, you know, because essentially here's the thing. I actually have to do something to earn that five to $10,000. It is not even close to passive income. It's not even close to passive. It's a, it's a very high paying side job. Five to $10,000, most of you would agree to me that for 25 hours per month, that's pretty good money. And it's one of the reasons I do this. So the thing is, Passive income, the way that it is presented by most of these scam artists is actually not even close to passive income. Passive income from real estate. I know a real estate investor with 22 houses who self manages. She self manages and literally Every week she's doing something. Now, does she work a 40 hour week? No, she doesn't. Some weeks she may work an hour. Some weeks she may work 10 hours. But I want to get you hip to like my businesses. They're not passive income business. YouTube, the online courses, um, they are Oh, the language I want to say is the year I made 3 million selling my online courses, I wasn't working a 40 hour week, but I was working. Now, let me go ahead and give you an example of why all of these passive income scams are scams. Like you would go to Google and they will have a highlighted article from the sun or some other foreign newspaper highlighting a TikToker or YouTube personality or someone who they will say is making passive income. Now, here's the thing I know. Let's say for the argument, the sake of the argument that you have established Amazon FBA and it's making you $15,000 per month. Now, it doesn't take you a lot of time to manage this. However, this is something that's going to happen that no one, that none of these passive income scam artists ever talk about. At some point, your business is going to start to degrade. It's not like you could go ahead and create this Amazon FBA uh, income stream and just work a few hours a day and it's going to remain the income stream that you've grown accustomed to. It's just not. Number one, 
there is something called competition. Your largest competition is Amazon itself. Amazon will do this in a heartbeat. You will come out, you will spend hours or weeks finding a product. You would go ahead and get your product set up. You would uh, put it on Amazon FBA and it starts making sales. Guess what? Amazon has alerts in their system when a product takes off. And then Amazon will examine if they can go ahead get this same product and put all Amazon money, Amazon algorithms behind it. And they will literally do this. And let's say you were an Amazon seller, you found this unique product and you were killing it. You were making $30,000 after cost of goods, Amazon fees, you're killing it. It only takes you two, three hours a day. And then month number two, you made 32,000 and month number three, you made 35,000 and you're just on top of the world. Then month four, you made 25,000. Then month five, you made 20,000. And then month six, you made 15,000. You didn't do anything different. See, this is what happens with competition in the market. You could literally have a winning product that could be selling like gangbusters and literally in a matter of months, you could lose your marketplace dominance with Amazon FBA. I, I'm, I know people who've done Amazon FBA in the beginning when Amazon FBA wasn't um, uniquely uh, positioned. It wasn't uniquely um it wasn't sold the way that it is sold now. And this has happened to many Amazon FBA. So that, that right there is something that none of these passive income scam artists, because they're scam artists, because here's the thing. And I want you to understand, they're making all this money. There's this one guy I found, he's making this money from Amazon FBA. He has an Etsy store, he has this, now he has a YouTube channel. Let, let me go ahead and drop the game. Literally, all of these passive income scam artists will have training. Now, this is the scam. First of all, they will trick you with the term passive income. First of all, that's a lie. There's virtually nothing outside of dividend stock, which is pure passive income, or manage real estate like you I have a friend that has a portfolio of apartments and he has a management company he does absolutely nothing that is passive income from him and once a year he may have to sign some papers so if you have to apply effort whether the effort is a large effort or a small effort this is why I do not come up here I mean if I if I wanted, if I didn't care about people's success, because here's my, here's what's in my mind. For you to be successful, you need to get honest, truthful information. Because if I was to just come up here, like using the example, hey, how to make five to ten thousand dollars a month from YouTube passive income, based upon the information that the passive income scam artists are putting out, I could use that as a passive income title. And once again, people are looking for this information. People are struggling. Now, here's another thing. There's, let's say hundreds of YouTubers, maybe even thousands of YouTubers and TikTokers who are putting out all of this information to help people develop passive income. Where are all the people making all this passive income? <laughs> right now, um, I ran across someone, I don't really know them, but they were at the quick trip and their van was packed with household goods. And I was like, How's it going? And he's like, it's not going well at all. I'm homeless. So if all of this information was helpful and accurate, why are there so many people going homeless? 
Why are there so many people struggling with inflation? I'm about to tell you why. This is why it's, I call it the passive income scam. First of all, what they will do is come to YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, and they will start posting and they will sell training. And uh, I'm gonna say Terry Yumajama, she has the day trading course. She never said it was passive income. She never said that. I'm, I'm not gonna put that on her. However, I had a live stream where she came on and she makes more money from selling her course than she does day trading. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not indicating or saying anything bad about Terry because I sell online courses. But to just illustrate to you that, let's say someone says a feel like this one girl, she was in the affiliate marketing and she was doing these TikToks like, I wake up to go to work in my, in my house slippers and you know, I'm, I'm just looking at this now. Here's something else, too. And this is something I'm starting to see with YouTube. And I'm starting to see this with um, TikTok. People are starting to find out that this stuff is garbage. They're starting to find out that it's garbage. It's worthless. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't pass the test. I mean, you can go out and get into affiliate marketing or you can get into this or one of the things uh, someone started an Etsy store selling print on demand items or downloadables which means you have no cost of goods and if you can get into the Etsy algorithm and sell something that you actually have no cost to create you can make a lot of money and he went up here and like I started an Etsy store from scratch and guess what? He's got training. So I'm going to say it and because I'm going to include myself in this group. Selling training is the most lucrative hustle online. Selling training. Absolutely. Why? You have no cost of goods. And if you have a YouTube channel or a TikTok channel, you don't have to buy ads to get traffic. It is hands down the most profitable business that you can get into online. It's the most profitable online business. The amazing selling machine, which was an Amazon FBA course, made one hundred and thirty million dollars. And it's still selling. Hundred and thirty million dollars. So one of the things you have to understand there's a reason that you have so many people who will literally have a video talking about how to develop passive income streams. And as a seasoned business person, I'm going to say something. It is hard to manage one business, let alone 12 passive income streams. It sounds really good. It sounds great. Like, hey, I have... 12 streams of income but the management because here's what I know and like uh, this is one of the reasons that I am getting ready to revamp all of my stuff um, this year I was selling three different things I was selling the masculine frame I was selling the intellectual property school and I was selling um, the program right now I was selling all three of those things and none of them, all three of them collectively didn't do as good as when I was selling the corporate toolbox. Now, I'm going to explain to you why. The corporate toolbox was the only thing I was selling. So I, my message was congruent. It was consistent. I use YouTube. And see, trying to sell multiple things without the proper structure, because it can be done. It can be done, but it's going to be challenging. It's going to be really, really challenging because essentially when you put up a YouTube channel and you have multiple products, people kind of get lost. Like literally in the comments, I have like, what program should I buy? Should I get the intellectual property school? Should I get the program? What should I get? 
So a confused customer is a customer that doesn't buy. So I say all this to say, you know, using myself, using my business as an illustration that it is very, very hard for, and I'm, I'm about to say something that may sound dismissive, that may sound petty. None of these people were doing well before they got to YouTube or Instagram or TikTok. That is telling. That is telling. I was making thirty to forty thousand dollars a month before I started a YouTube channel. I was using Craigslist, I was using eBay, and I was using Amazon. And I was selling stuff out of my store. So I had achieved a level of business success before YouTube. None of these people, you, you can't really find out any information about these people. You can't Google nothing. You can't until they came to YouTube. Like I will give you an example. There was this guy, his channel is still up. His name is Derek Struggle. That was his YouTube name. I don't think that's his real name. And he was doing Amazon FBA and he started putting out Amazon FBA training and after he created his course, guess what showed up in his Instagram? A Lamborghini. He could not buy that Lamborghini before he started selling courses. This is common, common, common. You will literally see people in the Forex space. Now they don't say Forex and day trading is passive income. I will go ahead and clarify that. They do not put that out that that, that is passive income. It's supposed to be extremely lucrative. So I've consistently seen this and what I feel is happening. No, what I know is happening is as we go through this global reset, as we go deeper into the recession, make no mark, make, we're in a recession right now. I don't care what Biden says, we're in a recession right now. We're in a recession with extremely high inflation on food, gas, and housing and right now people are searching for answers they're searching for ways to make more income not to buy a Lamborghini these people are looking for more money to buy food to feed their children and they're looking to these scam artists with hope a sign of hope that hey if I can listen to this person I, then I can feed my kids some chicken versus Cheerios or macaroni and cheese. Right now, there's a lot of people on that macaroni and cheese diet. They're on that bologna diet. Beans and rice. Because that's all they can afford. They're looking for money so they can afford to buy steak. They're looking for money so they can afford to fill up their car. They're looking for money so they can afford to pay their rent on time. This is what people are looking for. They're not looking to get rich. They're not looking to flex. They're looking to survive. And the once again, as the economy melts down, scams on both sides of the aisle, scams to entice you to buy a product, the worthless product, um, scams to get your money, like the Zelle scam is going on. Like once again, I'm making a little departure here. You need to stop using your debit card. Every time you use your debit card, you expose the money in your checking account to fraud. You go to a restaurant, you give your debit card to the server and the server, server disappears five minutes with your debit card. They can do whatever. All they could do, all they do is just take a picture of the front and back of your debit card. That's all they gotta do. And next thing you know, five hundred dollars out your checking account is gone. So, once again, in this inflationary, global reset, scam-infested environment, you need to stop using your debit card for purchases, especially at restaurants, at gas stations, and. <laughs> Like, here's what I do. Only time that I will use my debit card 
is to do a transaction at the bank or to pull money out of a known bank ATM. I, I don't use those little ATMs in the um, Quick Trip or I only use a, a, brank, a bank branded ATM. And typically I go to my bank to pull out cash. So once again, um, you need to stop using that debit card, especially right now, because scams and fraud are at an all time high and it's just going to in keep increasing. <clears throat> it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. So you need to stop using that debit card. Now, if you got bad credit, you need to fix your credit and U.S. Bank at the moment. I'm saying at the moment, U.S. Bank has the best secured credit card products on the market. They have a credit card, secure credit card that gives you cash back. And that's they, they, they literally have the best secured credit card products on the market. And if you get a secure credit card from U.S. Bank, go to the website and you get your credit fixed. Because essentially with U.S. Bank, you, you, you could get your credit could be funky. Your credit could be messed up and they will give you a secure credit card at the moment. I don't know how long this is going to last uh, because typically banks do not make money with secure credit card products, which is why there's not a robust list of secure credit cards you can access. But U.S. Bank has the best secure credit cards and get yourself a U.S. Bank credit card and you start using that U.S. Bank credit card as your debit card because <sighs> I mean the scams are going to explode in 2023. I mean, it's going to be nuts. It is seriously going to be nuts. So one of the things that you need to do, and like I said, like I said, I understand people are pressed. People are pressed. People are um, looking for answers. People are looking for solutions. Once again, the average person out there that's struggling isn't trying to buy a Lambo. They're trying to survive. They're trying to pay their bills on time. They're trying to have some money to take care of their families. And this is where I get angry at these scam artists because understand, they know exactly what they're doing. This is not a mistake. This isn't someone that just found out some information and put it out on YouTube. No, 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 no. These people are actively conducting a scam because here's the thing. Let's say you're doing the Amazon FBA and you sell Amazon FBA training and you leave out the fact that you can set up an Amazon store. You can have a winning product. And at some point, it's going to stop selling or your sales are going to be reduced by Amazon or competition. They don't put that out there. There's like Amazon FBA's best thing, seven figure Amazon FBA seller. They leave out all of the nasty downside because I know someone who bought the amazing selling machine. And for one year, they were knocking it out the park. Month after month, sales increased. They got more products. Then the second year, they made half the money that they made in the first year. And the third year, they actually quit Amazon FBA. So I know people, I know what I speak of. I like, once again, understand this is what's happening. If you have someone, because like, once again, uh, I sent out a letter, an email to all of my students and let them know what I'm doing. I'm getting ready to do some new training and I'm not going to be putting it on YouTube because when you do new training and you, you make it free, you put it out for everyone. It's only a matter of time before that market gets saturated. I had someone on here talking about, you know, I disagree. Airbnb is doing well now this person has a house that is paid off in a great location and i asked this person i was like since airbnb is so great how come you only have one house and i'm gonna tell you why 
More than likely, this person had a house that was left to him, which is why there's no mortgage. And to get another house, he would have to expose himself to a lot of financial risk. And he doesn't want to do that, which means that Airbnb ain't that good. Because if Airbnb was as good as it was saying, because literally uh, I, I need to post a screenshot of literally I've been in the Airbnb. People literally are getting no bookings at the moment. There's tons and tons of Airbnb hosts who are getting no bookings. None. It, it ain't slow down. They have stopped. And in 2023, they're going to get worse. Yet, the number of people who are selling Airbnb training, number of people selling Turo training. Now, once again, if you got an Airbnb in maybe Tennessee, up in the Smoky Mountains, or Airbnb in Florida, a destination spot, this can still be a viable business model because people are going there and they need accommodations. But if you are Vegas, I, I, I feel that I don't even know if I don't even know. I think Vegas would be a good place for Airbnbs. But once again, what we're, you're going to find out is are there people right now making a lot of money with Airbnb? Absolutely. And these are not the dumb people who just jumped in the Airbnb because of YouTube and they heard some stuff. These are people who researched their markets, made calculated investments, and they're doing really well. And this is not the majority of people on Airbnb. The majority of people on Airbnb are struggling right now. They're struggling. Shelby Church, a YouTuber, she put up an honest, and I'm going to break down why Shelby did this video. Shelby is, she's a YouTuber with over close to 2 million subscribers. So Shelby makes a lot of money from YouTube. She has brand deals. So Shelby can afford to be honest with you because she doesn't need you to watch her Airbnb content to make money because she's making money in other areas. So Shelby Church, shout out to Shelby Church. She's talking about my Airbnb lost money. And there are literally four videos on YouTube that talk about losing money with Airbnb. Yeah, right now I can go to Airbnb groups and literally see the pain of people who have Airbnbs and are not making money. So this is what I'm talking about. Like, once again, these are adults who are running these scams. And that's why I, I don't use the word scam lightly. They're intentionally like, like this one guy found he's doing. If you've been doing Amazon FBA, you know for a fact at some point your FBA listing is going to degrade. No mention of that. You know why? Well, if I was to like, let me go ahead and do an honest Amazon FBA. Hey, my name is T-Mac and I want to sell you some Amazon FBA training. But before we get into that, you can make a lot of money with Amazon FBA, but there's a few downsides because Amazon may actually start selling against you or your competition may literally hijack your, you know, there's things. But once again, I'm just be straight up with you. You know, if people were like making those kind of Amazon FBA ads, they wouldn't be selling that many programs because people are like, I don't want like once again, great example. I literally get people commenting on my Kill Switch Chronicle videos talking about, man, thank you. Because I was thinking about doing, I'm not messing with. Because see, if people got the truth, this would save them time and this would save them money. You cannot convince me that Airbnb or tour, hire car. Let's go ahead and talk about hire. My experience was predominantly with hire car and I had six vehicles on Turo and they really didn't go out that much because maybe I bought the wrong vehicles. I don't know, but they really, the Mercedes went out the most, but it was the newest car and it could have went out a lot more if I had priced it lower, but I wasn't interested in putting a $50,000 car out there on Airbnb on Turo for cheap. So if people knew the truth, because this is why I call them scam artists, because literally I'm a YouTuber. I know there's one person who's a scam artist 
Um, she's probably making thirty to forty thousand dollars. Well, she was. She was making thirty to forty thousand a month from YouTube. Her views have started to degrade because she's she's not posting as much as she used to. Because, you know, here here's the thing. I listen to stuff when I hear people. This girl was supposed to be a drop shipping millionaire, and she had a house with roommates. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Roommates typically are a hassle. Sometimes you can get a good roommate situation. But if you're making all of this money, why would you be house hacking and have roommates? Makes no sense. Makes no sense at all. But once again, these people are scam artists. And the average person who is watching this content isn't financially sophisticated enough to know that they're being misled and lied to. I mean, it's, it's going to get worse. It's literally going to get worse. Um, one of the things that you will see is a lot of people have figured it out. That if I can get an audience on TikTok or I can get an audience on YouTube saying whatever I need to say, I can make a lot of money just from having an audience. I Once again, there's a video, how to start a cargo van business for 300 bucks. This video now has 600,000 views and the methodology described in the video doesn't work. But the guy who put up the video, he's probably made maybe 15 K from that video, that one video. Yeah. Maybe made 15 K and that's what you, you have to be really, really on guard with what's going on today because these people have no conscience. They don't care about you. All they care about is using your attention to make money or getting money out of you to buy their funky programs. That's it. Um, they, they really don't care about you, man. They really don't care about you. And like I said, you're going to see more and more of the. And I'm once again, I'm using the term scam artist. Anyone that is selling you Amazon FBA training and leave out the downside, which can be very, very critical into your success that they're consciously doing it because anyone that has sold on Amazon know these things that happens they know these things happen and um, this whole like I see these titles I make $15,000 a month and I work one hour a day <sighs> as an experienced 24 year entrepreneur any business that you're putting that much effort into is literally going to fall apart at some part. It's going to fall apart because you really don't care. All right. Your relationship with your girlfriend, your wife, your husband, you put an hour a week in with that relationship. No, you don't. You put more hours than that. Anything that you do not assiduously put time, effort into will literally fall apart. Will literally fall apart. And I'm consider I'm constantly seeing the the side hustle scam that you could go out, do this low effort, no skill side hustle and make five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars a month working a few hours per week. I mean Average single person income in the United States of America is thirty-five to forty thousand dollars a year. That is average single person income, which means there are people making less, and there are some people who are making more. So, you, your name is Todd, and Todd is going to pick up this side hustle. And Todd right now is a cashier at Walmart making $25,000 a year. Now, all of a sudden, Todd's going to pick up this side hustle. I've literally seen commercials with, once again, these are not bad people. 
these are not bad people in any stretch of the imagination but i've seen these commercials from people with it's obviously very limited education who are now making 30 40 50 60 70 thousand dollars a month and it, it just doesn't add up so over here like once again with the guy who claims to be a billionaire and he was a cashier five years ago i don't think so he's a great example of this scam artist if you can come on youtube and get enough following you can sell anything D does this guy make millions i believe he's a millionaire i believe that based upon the size of his youtube channel and based on what he's selling yeah i believe that i don't believe he's a billionaire but once again you have seen it uh, there's another chick she used her um stimulus check to become a millionaire <sighs> I mean, once again, if these people were not successful before they came on social media, that should be a clue. That should tell you a lot. Where was the success before social media? Where was that success? Didn't exist. They weren't really hidden that well before social media. Now, social media is extremely powerful. Social media can turn a bum into a millionaire in a year. Easy. Easy. So there are people who are using social media correctly. They're not scam artists and they're making a lot of money. But there's a lot of people who are nothing but complete and other scam artists. And um, they don't really care about your success. They don't care about you. They just want to get, get rich off this YouTube Instagram and uh, TikTok money and the deals and stuff that come because literally every time I see one of these people, my eyes just roll up in my head because once again, business is dynamic. What does that mean? It's always changing. Business is not static where you can do something and set it and forget it. Like that year I made all that money. I did not just my personal spend because I knew it wasn't going to last see that's the thing that they, they keep telling you like you might be able to get it for a few weeks a few months and then it'll disappear and I feel that is worse that is worse for you to experience a certain income level of success than to have it ripped away that's worse because that really hurts because you already know what it can be like and then it gets ripped away so uh, give me some time. I'm going to work on it today because I'm going to do some new training and I'm going to work on putting together some stuff because once again, I'm not putting it on YouTube because one of the reasons I'm not putting it on YouTube is there are people who will steal it and then create training and sell information. That's another big scam that happens on YouTube. But I want people to be successful and give me some time to get it together and get it shaped up. But yeah, we're getting ready to cook. We're getting ready to cook. I'm give you some real training that can get you some real results if you do the work.